Uh, in this session, I'm going to cover how to create a data table, more specifically a two-variable data table. Now, data tables are a tool that, that can help you do some what-if analysis in Excel. Uh, in our example here, let's say that we have a loan amount and an interest rate and a term, and we want to figure out our monthly payment. So in this example, at $300,000, we're getting a loan for 300,000k, we have an interest rate of 3%, and we're going to do a term of 30 years. And let's say we wanted to see if we decided to take a little less, maybe $200,000. And at 3%, what would that give us? What would our monthly payment be? Uh, 843.21. And this is basically a formula in Excel. Uh, we're taking the, let me go ahead and bring up the insert function here we're taking the the rate divided by 12 so we're turning it into a monthly rate we're also taking our term here um, at 30 years and multiplying by 12 12 months in a year to give us 360 months and we're going to take our present value and basically this is the amount that we're loaning this PMT function in Excel gives us our monthly payment now if we wanted to figure out if we wanted to borrow more or less at different types of interest rates we'd have to go through and change these uh, one at a time and that can get a little bit tiresome well the data table gives us the option of having us have a range of changing variables in this instance in the row is the interest rate and in this instance also the col excuse me in this instance the column is the changing of the loan amounts so what it does is it lets us do a a cross-reference and figure out the monthly rate of the different variables as they change. So you can just cross-reference them. So how do we create this data table? Actually it's fairly simple. Uh, we have our row laid out and our columns laid out for our different changing variables, the ranges of them. And at our intersection here to the left of the row and to the top of the column here, we need to have a reference that points to the formula that is going to take our little inputs here. With that done, we need to select the table and then go into the data tab in the ribbon and go into the data tools for the what if analysis command. And it's going to bring us to the data table option. Now, with this, it comes up with a window that is looking for two inputs. So it's two inputs for a two-variable data table. If we were doing one variable data table, we just have to input one, one of these fields. But for two, we're going to do two. So our row input cell is basically this row. And this row is telling us it's going to be the interest rate. So we have to take the interest rate from our small table here. So it's going to reference that cell. Now the column input rate is our column here and this column is telling us it is the loan amount so we're gonna to have to take our input from the loan amount here and once you click OK the data table gets filled out with our different monthly values so let's say that we had our 200,000 which is over here at 3 percent over here that gives us 843.21 so now let's say we want to change this to 250,000 and we want to change our interest rate to maybe 2.75 so 250,000, 200, oh, not 275,000%, 2.75. Oops. So 2.75 gives us 1020.60. So if we go 2.75 at 250,000, we have our 1020.60. So instead of keeping, instead of changing these two values to figure out what kind of monthly rate monthly payment we'll get. All we need to do is look at our range uh, for maybe our interest rate and go down to the loan amount that we want to look at to see the different values for the monthly payments. So this is an example of a two variable data table. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.